Hello my lovelies. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you could tell by the title of the video, today we're going to try out some new drugstore items. Uh, I didn't think I was going to purchase anything um, until Makeup by Mario announced when his concealer was going to launch, but Undone Beauty surprised me with their next um, new launch. They came out with like five new items and the two that interest me the most are these two right here. And I also went ahead and purchased the e.l.f. Skin. This is the Woa Glow Sun Touchable Broad Spectrum SPF Sunscreen. So yeah, three new products. Not a whole lot, but I really want to test these out and tell you my thoughts because I believe these are all kind of leaning towards being dupes. It's a year of the dupes. So many uh, beauty YouTubers called it out there and I feel like it certainly is. Okay, let's jump right into this video. Okay, hair is pinned back under my ears. We're gonna try this e.l.f. SPF. I already did my skincare, what time is it? 12.12, so it's been about an hour since I did my skincare, and I went ahead and held off on the sunscreen. This is what the bottle looks like. It's a squeezy tube, so right off the bat, it's a lot bigger than the Super Goop at least just from looking at it. I don't know how much is in the super goop, but this is supposedly supposed to be a dupe for the super goop. And I believe the mineral one, the mineral sheer, which has like a natural glow to it. I do own that one. Um, this one from e.l.f. is the Sun Touchable Woa Glow Broad Spectrum SVF 30 and it retails for $14. It primes, protects, and glow. Uh, the e.l.f. Skin Sun Touchable. It's a tinted sunscreen and face primer hybrid that helps protect your skin, primes it for long wear makeup, and delivers a slightly shimmery finish. The lightweight formula is also boosted with a low hyaluronic acid and squalane. Okay, so I heard was it, yeah, Maria Maquillage, if you follow her, that tinted moisturizers or a tinted SPF are actually better because they last longer. If you are a skin buff or somebody who is like way into skincare and knows a whole lot more than I do, let me know if that is correct. But um, I took just a tiny bit that's on the cap. That's what it looks like. And we're gonna put SPF on. My husband has been using my super goop. He's been having skin issues and um, he's Caucasian and as you know Caucasians are a lot more prone to get skin cancer and I asked him by the way like he his skincare routine has changed so much since meeting me but anywho, I asked him if he wears SPF and he said no. So I told him, here, this is yours, you're using it. And so I have the Peter St. Roth one and I thought, okay, let me just buy another one. And it gave me the excuse to pretty much try this one. Okay, so it's definitely glowy. I would say it's a tiny bit more glowy than the Super Goop, but not in a bad way. I'm not mad at this. Okay, so far so good. Feels really good on the skin, feels hydrating. I like it. I like it. Okay, next up in line is another skincare product and it is from Undone Beauty. This little thing right here. Like I mentioned, Undone Beauty just launched a couple of new products. It looks like they launched a liquid liner, a sheer radiance serum tint, which looks like a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury, available in three colors. Um, these mega creme blush palettes three different color schemes. This um, illuminating prime oil, a brow and lash pomade that's in a little tube, and another mascara. 
I have uh, done a video dedicated solely to Undone Beauty because I have tried a couple of their products and so far everything I have tried I like. The um, mascara that I purchased, I forgot the name of it. That one I finished it off. I have the water bronzer which I really enjoy. I also have the cream blush which I also really enjoy. The thing that I enjoy the least I want to say is definitely their small little eyeshadow palettes. Okay but let's talk about this illuminating prime oil from undone beauty it retails for 18 dollars i would definitely say that undone beauty is a little bit on the higher end side as far as affordable makeup at ulta by the way all these products i purchased them at ulta okay so undone beauty's illuminating priming oil creates a glazed glass skin finish with a unique stainless steel massaging roll on applicator its clean formula instantly awakens luminous vibrant skin with probiotics and antioxidants moisturizes with squalane and illuminates with sweet cherry okay now the dupe that i was thinking of is the milk makeup what is this there oh here it is hydrating oil stick it's basically an oil stick like it's an oil <laughs> i really enjoyed this uh when i was pregnant with the twins I was having so many dry issues and that is the reason why I purchased that because um, it just, it really just hydrated my skin really, really, really well. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, I live in Utah now, as you all know. It's been snowing like crazy. There's still so much snow, <laughs> so much snow. And I figured this could probably be great right now because my skin is going through it. If I miss a day without doing my skincare, ugh horrible so it comes in a little squeezy tube and it does have those little metal balls now let's oh okay so you squeeze a tiny bit and then the product comes out let's test out the texture definitely feels like an oil okay it feels really nice oh my gosh this feels really nice okay let's get it on my skin shall we okay i'm not gonna put too too much because even though my skin does feel dry it can get too oily if i put way too many illuminating products so i'm just going to massage this in oh it feels really good so uh, the texture is odd it does not feel like the milk makeup it feels like an oil but almost like a hybrid between an oil and a very hydrating cream yeah it does not feel like the night oil that i use not at all like this is going to hydrate your skin wow oh it feels so good it feels so good okay i'm going to let this sink into my skin so probably let like 10 minutes pass by before i apply my makeup and I am going to use primer because if I leave just this underneath, <laughs> no, that's not going to go over well with my foundation. <laughs> okay, the tractor is going on outside. Snow stuff, you know? <laughs> my base looks so good. Everything is laying on top of this so perfectly. I did go in to the NYX um, Bear With Me Blur Tint Foundation, which I feel is a tiny bit more on the matte side, which is why I think it's working. Now, I did go overboard with like the glowiness, the e.l.f., and then this oil. I did go in to the NYX Bear With Me Concealer. I did go into the KKW Contour in shade 1. And then the e.l.f. Um, this is the Luminous Putty Bronzer in Day Trip. So glow upon glow upon glow. But I'm not mad at it. And my base is looking really good. I mean, I already like that NYX Bear With Me Blur Tint Foundation. But it's just laying on top. So, so pretty. And like I mentioned, I was going to go into a primer. I only ended up using the Danessa Myricks and my T-Zone. The rest of my face was pretty glowy and it definitely felt like the foundation was going to stick nicely. Okay, so now we're going to talk about this other new item, which as soon as I saw it, and the first time I actually saw this 
was from watching Vianney. Is it Vianney? Yeah, Vianney Strick. She reviewed this and the glowy like Charlotte Tilbury dupe. When she pulled this out, I was like, what is that? <laughs> And I think that same day, later on in the day that I watched that video or the day after they showed a preview of the new items they were launching. Okay, so this Mega Cremes 4-in-1 Color Cream. And they have it in three different colorways. They have like the pinky one that has like all like the pink kind of tones, pink and mauvey tones. They have the Neapolitan Cream, which looks like it's more on the warm tone, kind of peachy tone. Tones. and then the one that I purchased which is espresso cream and this one caught my attention because it reminded me of this Denisa Myrex you see that so I told myself you need to get that you need to get that this retails for $18 and I believe the Denisa Myrex retails for 26 so I think it's only like around a $10 difference the Undance Beauty Mega Creams 4 in 1 color cream includes four beloved formulas in Undone Beauty's best-selling mega pants and I think they're talking about their blushes which I only own one but it's beautiful I love that formula it's gorgeous these huge palettes contain ultra blendable dewy creams for endless blush contour highlight and bronzing options huh so you can use this as a I don't know how that's gonna work with the pink one yeah cuz there's no brown okay interesting all right let's let's open this up okay I love cream blushes if you've been here for a while you already know this Denisa Myricks I absolutely love as well I believe there's only two colorways the other one's more on like the pinky peachy tone and then this one's like your darker one but this one actually does work very well for me even the darkest shade in here actually works so it immediately reminded me of this except I feel like the bottom shade and this one is more of a highlight than anything. So let me swatch these. Ooh, feels nice. First shade, the second shade. Probably have to warm these up a tiny bit in the pan. Oh, okay, that looks pretty, pretty intense. Hopefully you can shear these out. I got a little bit of the highlight on there. So, here is the first shade, and I'll do a comparison with the Danessa Myricks. Middle shade, and then the bottom shade, but it did grab a tiny bit. It looks like some of the highlighter kind of leaked into mine. There it is. Okay, super, super pretty. And then the highlight, which looks kind of dark, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it as an actual highlight i might be able to mix it with the blushes and just make it more glowy okay so let's start with the top shade right here and this brush the bk beauty 112 which is like a small blush brush fits perfectly in these little pans and this brush fits perfectly in the danessa myricks pans as well i love this brush i have not set my face so we're going to go in first without powder and then we'll go in on top of powder just to see if they work on top of powder the danessa myricks i have used on top of powder and it works fairly decent okay whoa <laughs> let me tap a little bit on the back of my hand because uh, that's pretty oh it's blending out so beautifully you can use your fingers too it works very well with the fingers i prefer using a brush i don't know sometimes i feel like with your fingers you can lift up product so so pretty okay now in the other cheek i'm going to jump in to the second shade and i'm going to tread softly because this one's pretty dark and i feel like these are a tiny bit more emollient <laughs> than um the other blushes um so yeah so i'm like blending it on the back of my hand before i go into my cheek oh but this is also a beautiful almost berry wine kind of shade like a merlot i want to say 
Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. This formula is laying down very nicely. We'll see how it does on top of powder, but so far it's doing very, very well. It's performing just like the other, or at least the other blush I own, which is more of like a pinky cool tone kind of shade. Okay, they look so pretty. I feel like you can definitely tell the difference between the shades. I added just a tiny bit more on this side and I think I went overboard. <laughs> wiped my brush now we're going to jump in to the lightest shade and really if these shades are too intense for you you can probably mix the lightest shade with the others too and that would probably work great okay i got that third shade on the brush this one's definitely a lot lighter than the rest of them and i'm gonna put that right here on my nose so I definitely feel like this one's meant for your darker complexion individuals. And I feel like it's going to perform beautifully if you are tan to deep. Okay, so let me go ahead. That looks so pretty. Um, you know what? Let me let me just just try it out. The looks like a highlight, but it looks very bronzy gold. But let's see. Let's see. I'm literally tapping the pan and then tapping it on the back of my hand because I'm scared. Okay, so it's more of a natural kind of glow. I'll probably use that shade as mixing it with everything else. Okay, so let me go ahead and powder my face. I'll come back and we'll try these on top of powder and see how that goes. Okay, face is powdered. I did go in to this Kosas powder, which... I dropped it and the top broke. Can you tell? <laughs> I have a lot of powders, so it's not a big, huge deal, but it does suck. And I went into the RCMA Loose Premier Powder in Amber for the whole face and the Kosas for my under eyes. Okay, so as you can see, it did minimize the pigment a tiny bit after powdering, but it's okay because we're going to go on top of powder and see if this works on top of powder. Okay, so I think I'm going to stick to the same shades on each side just to keep it cohesive. So the first one with that same BK Beauty brush, which I am wiping down in between each application. Okay. It's applying fairly decent on top of powder, no lifting. No, it looks good. I might even say it's applying better on top of powder. Okay, it passed the test. I prefer applying my creams on top of powder. I feel like, I don't know why, but I feel like there's less patchiness. Let me know if you prefer that too. All right, now the darkest one in the pan. This one, I would tread way more softly <laughs> than all the other ones. Um, this one's like very dark which is nice. Also doing very well on top of powder. Perfect. That makes me happy. Okay. Okay, and the lightest one in the pan, or palette, I should say, which is probably the one that's going to give you the most, like it's going to be the more forgiving shade out of the three. But like I said, you can probably mix the darker shades with the lightest one, which is what I do most of the time with my Denisa Myrex to use that palette. I can use each individual shade on its own. Um, I do feel like this one, this Undone Beauty one, is a tiny bit more pigmented than the Denisa Myrex. So for this one, if you are my tone or lighter, you probably have to tread very softly. But I think you can make it work for sure. Okay, I wiped my brush. Actually, no. You know what? I'm going to use my favorite, my current favorite highlighting brush. And it is the BK Beauty 113. And I'm going to lightly dip into that gold. But I am going to back my hand and just see. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it doesn't translate as yellowish gold, at least if you go very lightly. I'm pretty sure if you really pack it on, it will. But if I just do it just right, 
I do feel like it adds the most beautiful like glow to my cheek. I don't feel it looks bad. These blush colors just really call out to me right now. They have been for quite some time. I have so many pinks, so many like corally, peachy shades. I don't own too many of these kinds of shades in my blush collection. And that's why these shades call out to me. Okay, let me finish off the rest of my face and I'll be back and we'll go ahead and do swatch comparisons in between the two. Okay, I am back and I'm going to apply just a tiny bit of the lightest shade on my lips. The cheek one you can use on your lips too. Feels like a balmy texture for sure. Just a tiny bit of tint to my lips. I did get a tiny bit of the highlighter shade in there. It just kind of leaked over. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of lip liner. What is this? Cap Cosmetics in White Russian. I just pulled out whatever I found first. Okay. Face is nice and done. Oh, okay. It does not feel too sticky, which is nice. I did put, like I said, the Undone Beauty on top of the powder and it does not feel sticky. Great. The Denise Myricks does stay a tiny bit tacky when you put it on top of powder. And I did use a tiny bit of the highlight right above my eyebrow. It's a decent highlight, not my favorite, and I have to tread really softly to be able to use it. The end result of this Undone Face Palette looks very pretty, doesn't it? A very natural kind of look. If you're somebody who likes full beat all the time, this product is definitely not for you. I feel like Undone Beauty is that my skin but better kind of vibe. Okay, so swatches. This side is the Undone Beauty right here, and this side is the Danessa Myrex. So I went ahead and swatched for the shades that looked the most similar to each other. This is the top shade for Undone, the middle, which is the darkest, and then the lightest. Um, as you can see, the two darker ones are probably the closest to in shade and actually this one too. So the lightest in the Undone is the second lightest in the Denisa Myricks and then the lightest I swatched it next to like the highlighting shade. So if you've been wanting to try the Denisa Myricks but don't want to pay the 20 something dollars that it costs, this Undone Beauty might be a good alternative. I would definitely say that the Undone Beauty is a tiny bit more pigmented than the Denisa Myricks. I feel like the Denisa Myricks shears out a tiny bit more and a tiny bit better than the Undone Beauty. So that depends on what you are looking for and whether that's a pro or a con. But as you saw, I was able to make this work. So far, formula-wise, I'm actually preferring the Undone Beauty, and that's just upon first impression. If this is your kind of product, this is your kind of vibe, then I definitely feel like we might have possibly found a decent dupe for the Danessa Myricks. Now, I know some people don't like it when you say dupes and in all honesty it never really truly is a hundred percent a dupe but it is the closest to the Denisa Myricks I feel like for sure yeah so that is my comparisons between these two take with that what you want let me know if these caught your eye because they definitely did when I saw them okay now this Undone Beauty Illuminating Primer Oil I do feel like it's a very close dupe to the milk makeup. I feel like texture wise and how it feels on your skin, I'm kind of preferring this one because this milk makeup um, hydrating oil stick, it literally feels like pure oil that you're applying to your face. This Undone Beauty does not. It feels like a really nice hybrid between an oil and a like very hydrating moisturizer. So I'm very interested to keep using this. I do enjoy the packaging. I think it's great. The little metal massaging 
soothing oils felt really good on the skin like I'm, I'm excited to keep using this especially because it's winter and my skin is pretty dry these days okay and last but not least the elf cosmetics broad spectrum spf woa glow sun touchable so many different <laughs> words on the title so far so good it felt really nice on the skin i feel like this one feels more hydrating than the super goop the super goop feels more like an actual spf sunscreen so i would say that the texture is different on the elf versus the super goop so again not an exact dupe but it's pretty close so i will say that elf did a pretty good job in providing us with a less expensive alternative to the super goop which i feel is the main point to these dupes that you keep seeing an alternative that is a little bit less expensive than what is out there and i feel like these brands are kind of killing it let me know let me know your thoughts on this whole year of the dupes okay well that's going to be it for this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope i helped you out in deciding on whether you want to check out some of these products i know undone beauty is not a brand that a lot of people talk about but i feel like it's a pretty decent brand everything i have tried so far i have really enjoyed it is a brand that is not for everybody it is like my skin but better natural kind of makeup so if that's not for you then you probably probably won't enjoy anything from the brand. <laughs> And e.l.f. is a cult favorite. It's been around for years and I feel like they are just, they keep killing it. They keep killing it when it comes to their products. Okay, my lovelies, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea all the comments, all the likes. If you use my links, everything, it means so much to me. You really don't know how much it means to me. Okay, well, with that being said, I would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm of hopefully bringing some new and fresh eyes to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you joined my small YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button. I would love to have you. Okay, I will see you on the next video. Bye!